I am Uatu, the Watcher. I have been charged with observing your world since before humanity reigned as the dominant species. I have watched legends born and return when most needed. I have seen the flash of genius define the future. I have watched selfless acts define a lifetime. I have watched you turn accident into triumph. I have watched adversity turn into purpose over and over again. watched all of this and so much more because that is the task bequeathed to me by the universe but i can stand by and watch no more i have watched you victor von doom i know what you're planning and it cannot be allowed humanity is at an important crossroads the future of your species is at stake so today, I have broken my Watcher's vow to never interfere with the course of humanity. I am here to stop you! I have so little respect for those who do not know their place! You do not know the power you abuse. And you do not seem to know how to be silent! The power of the cube is mine to control. You are a fool to come here. You have no one to blame but yourself! Please, no human can hold such power. You're wrong! Heads up, people. This is Nick Fury, director of S.H.I.E.L.D. I've called you here because we have a bit of a situation. As we speak, the supervillain prison known as the Ram is under attack by agents of Hydra. Several prisoners have already escaped their cells. Level 7 threats. Like Green Goblin. Sabretooth. Living Laser. Dr. Octopus. Some have even escaped the island. S.H.I.E.L.D. has agents on site, but we need your help. Get to the raft and do what you can. Good luck. The raft assault was a spectacular success, if I do say so myself. Thanks to Hydra, there will be bedlam in the streets of New York. And the list. Yes, the entire list. But I can't help but wonder, Dr. Octopus, Modoc, Wizard, what does Dr. Doom gain from their freedom? And with this, we end our transaction. This is it? This technology exploits a flaw in Tony Stark's security system. Well then, Hail Hydra. Be gone. Hell's Kitchen. All I want is for this city to breathe free. Free of corruption. Free of crime. But the streets of this city are crawling with low lives. Costume criminals run rampant. For every one of us, there seems to be ten of them. And all of it clenched in the thick fingers of Wilson Fisk. The kingpin of crime. It's time. It's time to take the city back. But everywhere I turn... Something like that happens.
That was awful loud, Shocker. Well, then hurry your little self up there, Rhino, and break through the vault like you said you could. Well? Shh. I'm focusing you. One, two... Ooh. Business hours are nine to four, gentlemen. You son of a... No! Off me! has a nightclub? It's a front. It's connected to a warehouse supposedly filled with all his ill-gotten goodies. Well, sure. He is the Kingpin. I assume everything is a front. For a fast food franchise. You know, because he's fat. I've got your back. Let's go. One, one. High five. You can't give a brother a high five? Thank you. I was looking for that. Sweet Christmas. Who the hell was that? Calls himself the Hood. So all the good names were taken? Don't underestimate him. That cape and hood? Let him teleport anywhere in the world. Intel says he's a serious pretender to Kingpin's throne. Okay then. Good job, everybody. We just gave the Hood the edge he needs to take this entire city. Ain't gonna happen. Someone somewhere knows where this guy hangs his cape at night. We need to go to Fury with this. Actually, I think I know who we should talk to first. Do you crave the excitement of international criminal intrigue but lack the skills to make that dream come true? Do the voices inside your head tell you that you were meant for something more? Do you sit there day after day, seething with the need for revenge, but don't know how to get it? Then the Taskmaster Institute is for you. Here at the Institute, we train you for a life of power and skill. You will learn seven different styles of martial arts. And many forms of advanced weaponry. If you're smart enough to find me, you're smart enough to learn the lessons I can teach you. The Taskmaster Institute, when you positively, absolutely know you were meant for something more. Madame Hydra. Wait for it. He likes to make an entrance. No, no. Everybody, settle down. We're here to do business. Isn't that right, Mr. Robbins? You have my money? Do you have the tablet? Well done. And now, it's my turn. It is. You have something for me? I do. I knew you were gonna try and pull something. Sure you did. Actually, I did. That's why I always have a backup plan. That's why I brought the hand. Electra, Madam Hydra. Go! Do we have a deal? The tablet is yours, Electra. Sold. And that's who has the tablet now. You sold it to the hand? Yep. So while you pretty boys are here dancing with me, they're out there making the world in their image. So the question is, 
How long are you gonna stand here staring at me? We getting haircuts? Follow me. Have a seat. Gentlemen, my name is James Wu, agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Welcome to Madripoor, the armpit of the world. Yeah, we noticed. The place the bad guys go when the kitchen gets too hot. I told Nick Fury you want to help Madripoor blow it off the map. Be that as it may, up until recently it was a free-for-all, but now, now we're seeing a turf war between Hydra and the ninja warriors of the Hand. I thought this place was strictly ninja territory. It was. Until Hydra started making some big, bold moves. Say hello to the main players. Viper, aka Madam Hydra. Her right-hand man, the Grim Reaper. Gorgon, the current leader of the Hand. And Electra Nachios, the Hand's master assassin. We had Agent Carter in the field, undercover. The word is her cover's blown. We'll go right now. We'll extract her. If she's still alive. Based on her last report, I think she found out something important to both sides. The tablet. That's my guess. When you find her, you're gonna have your hands full. Great. Let's go beat some ninjas. You say that with such glee. <laughs> hey, I like what I like. Oh, I don't believe this. Is it a surprise party? I love surprise parties. Not exactly. This is a cease and desist order along with proof of Wilson Fisk's ownership of the tablet. That tablet belongs to my client. Now if, and only if, it's returned to his possession immediately, my client will not press charges. Say what now? Fisk's slimeball attorney is right. Hand it back. Hell, you can't be serious. You hand it over, or we will sue you people so hard we'll own this building, your shield, and the cute little eagle wings on your little hat. No, no, we can't do this. We have to. We'll be watching you. <laughs> How could you let that happen? My hands are tied, gentlemen. I'm not Nick Fury. I have to obey the law. What do we do now? You need to find someone who knows the ins and outs of Wilson Fisk and his empire. See if they can find a way to shut him down. You know what? I know exactly who we need. Kingpin, right? You're good, Yurik. Okay, here's what you have to do. That doesn't prove anything. It proves you're a dirty cop, DeWolf. Which is so incredibly disappointing. You don't understand. What does the Kingpin have on you? I was a good cop. I was following the trail of Kingpin's enforcers after their rather successful crime spree through Hell's Kitchen. But when I got there, I discovered I wasn't the only one on that trail. Speedball, one of the new warriors, had clearly found them, but got himself captured, tied up, and worked over. They were about to go for round two, and it didn't look like he had much left in him. I didn't even think. I put them down. I didn't report it because I knew what I had done was wrong. Thank you. Can you walk? Uh, I'll try. If I'd been thinking, I would have looked for the security camera that caught me murdering Kingpin's lackeys. Never mind that these were the worst kind of bad guys, about to kill a real, actual hero. I killed in cold blood. Kingpin had me dead to rights. I either do what he says, or I go to jail. You want to make up for your sins? Help us. You talk to the feds, you confess your sins, the Kingpin falls. Coercion? Bribery of government employees? Racketeering? I'd say it's enough to bring him down. Here's your chance to do the right thing. Come on! I can't live like this any longer. Get it. I'll testify. Well, all right. We can do it, can't we? We can finally take down the Kingpin. We do it tonight. She asked me out. The Black Widow asked you out. You can ask Sitwell. He was there. <laughs> that did not happen. But hey, what can I say? To a lot of sit-ups. We're done with the talk. I'll see yourself. Let me 
made good on my promise, Doom. Here's your precious tablet. Well done, Ghost. I underestimated you. What the hell does that mean? It means I thought you incapable of achieving your goal. Whatever. I assume payment is being made in full? Already taken care of. Then so long, Doc. Don't call me and I won't call you. All the pieces are coming into place. Not your fault, little one. Homo sapien is the only true work of God. Mutant is the abomination of the devil. God doesn't want mutants. This is the judgment. Senseless. They hate us so much. Just because we are different. Just because we are mutant. This is the Xavier School for Gifted Youngsters. I am Charles Xavier, and I have dedicated my life to educating and training mutants. The best and brightest of my students you know as... The X-Men. We dream of a world of peace and equality, where mutants and human could live together peacefully. But there are those who would die, or kill, to stop this from happening. That is why I've called you here. Anti-mutant activity has grown increasingly violent. Because of the rise in New York City's mutant population, the mutants took it upon themselves to form their own community, Mutant Town. But Mutant Town is now under siege by anti-mutant vigilantes. They call themselves... The Purifiers. To my frustration, I must tell you, I don't know anything more about them. I need you to go to Mutant Town and help stop the growing violence. Show your support for us. Let the world know that its heroes and its mutants stand together. Ugh. What a wonderful spell you've discovered. Stay close, all of you. Do you know where we're going, Wolverine? Yeah, he always knows where he's going. <laughs> Just follow the nose. Ugh, today is not a good day to have super mutant senses. Striker's purifiers are right there. <laughs> This is a church. Wow. They are cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Shh. We're not alone. Like, in the universe? Where is the Church of Purification, Logan? Follow me. Stay close. Professor, Nick Fury is on calm. Professor, S.H.I.E.L.D. agents intercepted a communication that I thought you might need to see. This is William Stryker. Modoc, are we sure this communication is coded? You are talking to the leader of advanced idea mechanics. Please. You promised me a weapon. I do not care for your tone, Stryker. With the money I'm paying you, I'll use any tone I please. I want that weapon prototype. Such impatience. These things always take longer than expected. But I assure you, the results will bring your mutant devastation. When, Modoc? I'd like to conclude our dealings as soon as possible. Set the coordinates, and let's get this over with. I'm sending you the intercepted coordinates. The message is already over 24 hours old, so you better hurry. Good luck, and keep me posted. Suit up. You want us at war with the humans, and now you have it. 
I take no joy in that. I take no pleasure in it. But we either choose to win this war and live free, or lie down and let you enslave us, torture us, kill us. Humans and mutants cannot live together in peace. Your god has selected the mutant as the dominant species on the planet. I am Magneto. I am mutants. And you will not take this world from me. No sudden moves, Stringer. Don't tempt me. You think you've won? You think you've saved the mutants? You've done nothing. Nothing! You've doomed yourself to damnation is what you've done. Uh-oh, guys. Did you hear that? We're doomed! Wait a minute. I knew that already. Fury's Boy Scouts are here. This is Deputy Director Maria Hill. We're at the Purifier base. I want a closed perimeter. And that means closed tight. I want anyone with a crazy look on their face on lockdown. Mr. Stryker, I am very happy to say you are very under arrest. Oh, really? Wait till I sue you for religious persecution. I want to talk to Nick Fury. I want to talk to the man in charge. You have nothing. You have no proof. You have no evidence. Uh, Miss Hill, I think I found something. Stryker, these mutant genome samples are perfect. Are you still looking for test subjects? No. No. I have acquired the special individual I needed. And good luck with your experiments. I'll expect your payment to arrive by the end of the day. Where is he? I want a lawyer. You're gonna need a doctor if you don't tell me where Mr. Sinister is playing mad scientist with the mutant genomes. According to the log, Sinister's call came from the... Huh. What is that? That's the Savage Land. Sinister is in the Savage Land. Looks like we're going to the Savage Land. Looks like... I didn't bring any sunscreen. Good thing you're covered head to toe. Oh, yeah. All right, people. We're heading out. Uh, I hate the Savage Land. I hate it. Hate? What's to hate? It's the land time forgot for a reason. We're almost there. Seatbelts. Now, when we get there, you're gonna see all kinds of mutates and dinosaurs. And a surprising amount of acceptable jungle nudity. But it don't matter. We probably won't survive the crash. Wolverine. Cut it out. We're not gonna go. Seatbelts. Oh my god! We're almost there! Almost there! <laughs> Wasn't so bad. I hate you. Go! Go! Split up! Run for the trees! Dinosaurs? I need to get a real job. What the hell is going on there? The alien brood have taken over the S.H.I.E.L.D. science station. What are they doing? They're transforming everyone into mindless brood offspring. That's not nice. And soon, they will begin harvesting all the indigenous people of the Savage Land. If we hurry, I should be able to reverse the transformation process. But... But, we'll need to get inside. Then we do it. Let's go, people! State your name and purpose. Tell your highness Nathaniel Essex is here bearing gifts. Tell him Mr. Sinister will see him now. I heard you were dead. I have complete control over my body at the cellular level, Doctor Doom. I'm not that easy to kill. Take note. And you and I have business to attend to. I will admit I had my doubts, but the plan worked. The purifiers, darlings that they are, unwittingly gathered the genetic data needed to pinpoint the right target for acquisition. Your enemies may have liberated the original, but we had plenty of time to craft a clone. An exact duplicate. For your needs, Doctor, it's perfect. And best of all, 
Your enemies will never know. Well done, Mr. Sinister. Well done. This is war. Our targets tonight are Hydra and the Mandarin. We know they are behind the tech theft from Stark Industries. I've authorized an Omega-level strike against their primary base of operations, Hydra Island. The troops of our best shield agents are taking the Hydra front lines out as we speak. But that's just to clear a path for you. I need your aid here. I need you to pull Hydra down around the Mandarin's ears. This is it. This is everything. Tonight, we put a stop to Hydra. Once and for all. Okay, so now can we go home? Fury, this is Captain America. The Mandarin is down. We need a shield cleanup crew and evac team on my location. Over. Someone make sure Mandarin doesn't have any more surprise goons coming. I think we're good. What is it? I'm not sure. I just had the oddest reading. You took a lot of hits. You might be glitchy. What was that? Objects that might be used to stop me, even with the power of the cube in my hand. What are you going to do? I am going to use your genetic ability to absorb and transform energy as a conduit to the power of the cube. That is what you were created and delivered for. And for that, I thank you. You are the sole witness to the day the world changed your suspicion. I hope that is of some comfort to you. Get me everyone. Everyone? People are still recovering from- Get me everyone! It is time. I've just been zapped into some cable reality show. I'm gonna be pretty mad! Same here. Who's ready for some of what I got? I'm out of here. Then you will miss the opportunity of a lifetime. Dr. Doom! The stone's on you, man. Be still, Electro. I brought you here to give you a gift. Each of you has a goal just outside your grasp. I've invited you here to change your fortunes. To give you the gift of life-changing power. See, I ain't looking to take over the world, and since I'm hardly the world-saving type either, I figured, you know, that's your deal. If you're lying, Bob, we'll be back. Hulk Squish. He's not lying. There's an energy source in there that's off the charts. Let's go. For all the trials and tribulations I have suffered today, finally, 
victory is complete! According to my sensors, these power levels could rip the planet in half. So that's bad, right? Guys, listen up. Everything we fought for has come to this. Right here, right now. This ends. Assemble. Did we win? It's over. So, this is what winning feels like. Shawarma time. What is it with you and the... Um... Hold, wait. Uh, what's happening exactly? I have no idea. I don't say that. You're the big brain. You don't know, nobody knows. And I'm telling you, I've never seen anything like this before. Well, that winning feeling didn't last long, did it? Repeat. This is a Priority One distress call from S.H.I.E.L.D. Agent Dugan. Dr. Selvig tells me that we are under attack by, get this, Frost Giants from the, um, Asgardian realm of Jotunheim. We do not have the personnel to deal with some kind of monster invasion. I need some big guns up here, right now. Protect that flank! Don't let up! You heard the man, no time to waste. One of my pilots can get you to Norway. And tell those Asgardians I don't appreciate it when their problems become my problems. These pitiful mortals. So focused on immediate troubles that they never see the larger plan. Oh, Father. You chose an unfortunate moment to enter your Odin sleep. With the power I gathered from the mortal's cosmic cube, I've opened portals to bring Asgard's enemies right to its doorstep. As my new allies take the city, I'll claim the throne and rule Asgard myself. Malekith, Curse, and the rest of the Dark Elves were quite eager to act on their long-simmering anger against Asgard. I really should thank Victor Von Doom, wherever he may be, for unwittingly delivering unto me my ultimate victory. Sometimes, I forget how useful these mortals can be. Traitorous Loki, were you not the son of Odin, I would slay you myself. Lady Sith, I bring news most dire. Speak, Heimdall. What danger have you seen? Muspelheim, Lady Sith. The Fire Demons are assembling. Even now, they ready their army to attack a weakened Asgard. Impossible! The Fire Demons are chaotic and disorganized. Did we forget to pay attention to the one enemy who would see us all burn? Serta. While we were distracted here, Surtur reforged the mighty Twilight Sword. Surtur means to begin Ragnarok. Now... Our defenses are crippled. Our warriors exhausted. How can Asgard stand against the Lord of Muspelheim and his army? Perhaps I can be of service. 